Gravity Falls wasn't your average Disney cartoon. No, this was a full-on experience. While watching episodes as they premiered, not a single one would go by without some sort of secret code or hidden mystery lurking in the background, so fans constantly had things to talk about. In the show's very first episode, Dipper Pines comes face to face with a special journal he finds buried in the woods. What exactly is this journal? Well, it holds information about the supernatural aspect of Gravity Falls and details what to expect from all of its weirdness. There were three books in total, but we would learn much more as the series progressed. Still, the undeniable biggest mystery of the entire series was one that we'd follow alongside Dipper, and many of the show's story arcs centered around one specific question. Who is the author of the journals? Dipper wanted to do whatever it took to track down this mysterious individual, and figure out how they knew all about the secrets in Gravity Falls. This person's identity was always nagging at him, much like the fandom after every new episode. Alex Hirsch had thought to himself that once the author ended up being revealed, it was basically a ticking time bomb to the finale. Of course, there were a bunch of smaller questions and problems we had to solve, but revealing the author was the mystery, the one we were all waiting on the edge of our seats for. I just feel like I'm one puzzle piece away from figuring out everything. Don't worry, Dipper. Lord Mystery Ham is on the case. I play by my own rules, what what? I don't know why I tell you things. In 2013, an absolutely massive fan theory started spreading around, with more than a few clues proving it. The theory stated that everyone's favorite Grunkle Stan actually had a secret twin brother, and that twin brother was also the author of the journals. Oh my god! There were a bunch of cleverly hidden clues to be found throughout the first season, such as the Mystery Shack's secret room in Carpe Diem. Whose room was this, and why did Stan never show anyone else? What's with him looking sadly at these old glasses? What does everything mean? This was just one piece of a much bigger puzzle and fans weren't sure if they figured out the true author's identity or not. But then, in 2013, just around the time this theory started becoming popular, a certain image made its way online, which completely changed everyone's expectations. We can see a younger version of Old Man McGucket, the local crazy dude in Gravity Falls. He's clearly writing in one of the journals, the same magnifying glass hanging off the page. Not only that, but you'll notice he has six fingers, which is what the three journals are known for. With the production codes and all the other aspects showing this is property of Disney TV, fans came to one conclusion. The biggest mystery of the entire series had been leaked. This was posted anonymously on 4chan and Reddit, where Gravity Falls fans visit to talk about the small town mysteries. This post was soon deleted, but the damage had already been done. People began to steer away from the Stan Twin theory, realizing that they found the truth in this leak. And yeah, Mikaka being the author made sense. He's always been one of the big candidates, thanks to a few clues throughout the series. You know how he has this cast? Well, well, what if he used to have six fingers and lost one because of his encounters with Bill? That would explain the blood on Bill's journal page at least. There was also a hint that the author hadn't been himself in 30 years. Fans connected that very idea to McGucket, who's gone crazy for some unknown reason in his past. This is what held all the clues together, seemingly confirming that he actually did write the journals. A tweet by series creator Alex Hirsch made this even more believable. He posted just three simple words, fuming right now, and quickly took it down. At this point, most fans were convinced. Why else would he say something like that? He and his crew put so much time and effort into keeping their show's mysteries alive, and the biggest one just slips out online? Of course he's gonna be fuming. Now as a fan, this whole thing was disappointing. The mystery of the author was one of the biggest parts keeping the story going, and you kept watching to put the pieces together yourself. But here's the thing. This leak, the one that fooled the entire Gravity Falls fandom, was fake. 100% man-made to throw everyone off the trail when they were getting close to the actual truth. We wouldn't find this out until about a year later, when season 2's episode Society of the Blind Eye aired. It was revealed that McCuckett wasn't the author of the journals, even if he did have a big connection to that character. For the past year, I have been working as an assistant for a visiting researcher. He has been cataloging his findings about Gravity Falls in a series of journals. Number one, make hoax. Number two, upload to fortune. Number three, post angry tweet about leak. Number four, delete tweet. Number five, let internet do rest. Well, uh, that was a bombshell. It immediately resulted in a special video from yours truly on November 24th, 2014.
This is where the leak was shown to the world, and what many at the time didn't realize is that it was actually a clever hoax. Fast forward a few years later, and we would find out some more information about everything that went down. In 2016, Alex posted the original sketch plan for what Arthur McGucket would look like. He did his best to make it as convincing as possible, so that the fandom would take the bait. Of course, even if this was his idea, he couldn't do everything alone. In the bonus features of the complete Gravity Falls box set, crew members talked about how they managed to trick everyone. Halfway into the season maybe somebody had cracked the theory that stan had a twin brother and alex had seen this and it was passing on somebody's tumblr was like here's the big theory i think that stan is a twin brother and alex was like oh no we're gonna nip this in the butt and it was like all hands on deck it was a big red alert and everybody came out of their offices and he's like okay here's what we need to do um we need to figure out a counter narrative and we have to get it out there and we're gonna leak it we're gonna pretend like it was somebody who's just walking through the halls and so he had joe pitt draw up uh, a picture of old man McGucket with six fingers on his hands. Phil Rinda had designed McGucket with a cast on, and that was always kind of a question. It's like, where'd he get the cast? What's that story? What, you know, how did he break his arm? Why is it always broken? So we, we just made a still of it, and then we put it on one of the editor's TVs in the editing bay. Put a fake time code stamp on it, and did the kind of a hidden camera kind of photo of it. And then Alex created a fake Reddit account and threw it up on the internet. And he, I think he let it sit there for maybe an hour or two, or maybe a day, I don't know took it down and really buried it, but it got spread throughout the internet and all of a sudden the internet now believes that they were like, okay, thank God. Now they believe it's McGucket. Okay, they're off the scent. When looking back at all of this, I think it's safe to say that Gravity Falls really was unlike anything else. Alex went to such great lengths just to protect his world and story. When theories started getting out that Stan had a brother and he was the highly sought after author of the journals, it felt like the big reveal would be more disappointing when it comes. Making an official leak of McGucket was sneaky, but it still made sense. Even firm believers in the Stan twin theory had to think again, and if they didn't completely think the leak was legit, they still felt less confident. At least, that's how things went for me. Back in those days, I honestly thought the big reveal of Gravity Falls was ruined just because of the leak. When we finally found out the true author's identity, it felt much more satisfying because we genuinely weren't sure what to think for a period of time. At the end of the day, this was an unforgettable hoax. If you were watching and theorizing at the time, you were probably going through a wide range of emotional states, from happiness to confusion fusion to curiosity. It was all just a really wild trip. I don't think I've ever come across another cartoon creator who's done stuff like this. And with Alex, you really didn't know what to expect. He always went above and beyond for his cartoon, and that's something I can really admire. Were you guys Gravity Falls fans back when the massive author leak happened? And if not, what'd you think of the whole story about how it went down? Let's talk in the comments! But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and come up below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.